Welcome back to another episode of Trailblazer PVM Edition. Thank you guys so much for support on the last video because it did really well. I managed to get the blade on the last episode and charged it. So now we have pretty much our best slot melee weapon for general purpose PVM. And all we gotta do now is get ourselves the full crystal armor set. That's going to be my primary range gear and arguably my best in slot range gear for most of my PVM. So we are really close. So hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And as always, like the video if you are looking forward to more. And if YouTube videos isn't enough and you need more content, I got you. Because I'm streaming 10 hours a day on Twitch of all the Trailblazer action. So definitely pull through on twitch.tv slash ricecup. Link in the description if you need more. Nice. I can still tornado run. Scepter. Pretty good. Damn, tick fishing with the two tick bow is so, <laughs> so good. Holy shit, you can fish so fast. Wolf. Yo, two tick fishing, check it out. Check it out, two tick fishing. Hella fast. God damn, dude. It's so consistent. It's amazing. Holy, 144. My god. Secret trick. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time to run across. Alright, we finally got enough shards to make ourselves the crystal body. I wanted to make the body first because I have a green dehyde body right now and it's really just not good enough. Oh my god, I just gained 180,000 total XP. Yes! Oof, look at that, boys. We're almost there. We're almost there, dude. Two out of three pieces. Still need two more seats. We are about s almost six armor seats behind on drop rate. So, uh, yeah, I would love to get these last two soon, man. I don't want to hit 200 corrupted gauntlet, to be honest. Two tick mining. Love it. Love it. Yep. Armor seat, please. Yes! Finally. First one in freaking... Three hours. One more to go, and we're out of here, dude. One more to go. One more to go. Nice, we're only five armor seeds behind now. Let's go. Holy shit, 136. Okay, I don't think I can get any faster than this. 130 freaking six. Oh shit, you just got another blade. What the hell, dude? That just overshadowed my super insane pun lift kill time. Yes! Oh my god, let's go, dude. Let's go. 166. Oh, finally, dude. Let's go, man. Woohoo! Yo, finally, dude. We just got the six crystal armor seed. 166 corrupted gauntlet later. Oh my god. It took about double the amount that you, you should really uh it should really take. But yo, we got it. Wow, and I'm only five shards away from actually being able to turn this into legs. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. One more gauntlet and, and we outie. Hey, 7-Eleven. Alright, there we go. We got it, boys. 102 shards. Okay. Holy shit, dude. We are truly the Crystal Warrior, man. The Crystal Warrior here, guys. Yes, boys. Full crystal set. Oh, 73 smithing. No way. Ah, task completed. Too. Oh. Oh my god. Look at my setup, boys. With the crystal. Oh, Jesus Christ. The accuracy on this thing. 175. And also, I get some nauseous, nauseous like nasty magic bonus defensive wise. 128, dude. Jesus Christ, Zora's gonna, we're gonna send Zora packing with this, with this setup. Oh, it's gonna be so nice, dude. Further into the distance of this PVM journey, I will be taking this armor set and my bow with me to a bunch of different places, like the Inferno, Theater of Blood, and a bunch of others. Can't wait to show you guys. I'm very excited, because it's my first time too. So the next big boss I'm going to be working on is Zora, as many of you have guessed. 
Zora is huge because it gives me the blowpipe on top of nice resources and the other uniques which are cool too and have some niche uses, but the blowpipe is the big one. Blowpipe is the highest DPS weapon in all of Twisted League pretty much. And yes, I can use it. I do have the ability to make darts uh, through fletching. I can't smith dart tips, but I can still get them from like Crystal M's, Dragon M's, Grotesque Guardians and stuff. So I will be able to use the blowpipe. Now, the quantity is rather low, so I can't spam it, right? So Crystal Bow is still going to be the main weapon, but the blowpipe has a few big uses. Uh, the first one is under extreme conditions where I need absolute DPS, like maybe in the Inferno, I will definitely need it. It also has crazy healing capabilities combined with six tier relics weapon specialists. You can heal five times in a row. And it's also super good for speed time trials. Some tasks like sub 42 Zoras can pretty much only be done with the blowpipe. So that's why we need to get it. So the crystal armor on top of having black dehyde accuracy, it also grants a 15% damage increase to the crystal bow and a 30% accuracy to the crystal bow if I have the full set. So yes, what you saw before with the stat numbers, it's actually a lot better than that. All right, so we can easily just do one kill trips and just use recall uh, to teleport and reset our stats. Oh my God, this is so good. This is way too good. Holy shit, that was nice. That was nice, man. That was very nice. Oh, wow, we already beat... We already got the uh, sub-130. Jesus, that was easy. That was very easy. Holy shit. Now that's a good kill. If I said so myself. PB? Yay, one minute. Yeah, melee phase is just unhittable, bro. Even with the crystal armor and, and the relics and all that, dude, just... Bro, we are not getting damage in, dude. We are we are not getting damage in. Okay, we're getting, we're getting some damage in, but yeah. There's just some things that you just can't overcome, such as melee Zora's stupidly high range defense. At 12 HP, it is perfect to die in the house, so let's do it. Boom, I'm dead. But it's okay because don't have to waste any of my food. Okay, so every time I mess up my equilibrium save, I can just use a Solander teleport and uh, fix it back up. So nice. I already got some Solander tellies, so life is going to be uh, pretty easy. I see. Oh my god, dude. This is it. Look at our hits. Holy shit. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Oh god, yeah, this is it. Woohoo! We PB. We also uh, did the task. 49 seconds, dude. Easy. That was easy. No pots. Yeah, okay. The next one we got to beat is 42 seconds, but there's no way we're going to be able to do that with our current setup. Karen bonds are so good in most PVM situations because they have a shorter cooldown compared to most food, stopping you from attacking when you're eating. So in the instance of Zora, I can eat two food, two Karen bonds when it dives, and by the time Zora comes back up, I'll be off cooldown ready, and I can already attack. Oh, Manta Rays, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's going to be so good for, like, bossing and stuff. It'll be a perfect combo with the Gatum Bonds, so that's going to be really nice. Oh, 29. Oh, 31. What? Never mind. I'm already hitting 31. Okay, uh, I think my max hit right now clean is 31. So if I am potted, it's probably going to be like 34 or something. Let me quickly cover how I go back and forth between kills. So after I kill Zora, I just use the teleport thing on the ground to exit. And then I teleport to my house. And what that does is Crystal Memory saves the Zora entrance. And from that point onwards, I just click on my altar and either go straight back to Zora or go back to my closest bank, which is Draken's Medallion and restock them with food, and that's pretty much it. The house will clear your poison as soon as you exit out of it via any uh, means of teleport. So there is a method where I can recover HP by suiciding quickly in my house, but I have to build a thing called an oubliette fire trap or something, and that requires 77 construction. So I'm gonna work on that tonight for tomorrow's aura. Holy shit, dude. Oh my God. 
What the f I forgot the crystal ball can actually kill these guys from all over here. Oh, magic fang. Oh, god damn. Jesus, I thought it was a blowpipe for a second there. God damn. Oh, damn. We need that staff of the dead to even use it. But hey, I'll, I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. That's our first unique with our gear at the Zora. So that's pretty uh, cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. All right. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, blowpipe is like a 1 in 140 or something. So, so yeah, it sh shouldn't be too hard to get that. Come on, kill it. Nice, there we go. This guy's dead, so that means these snakelings can't even hit me anymore. Because they're already dead. So. Damn, look at these hits. Holy shit, we've already reached 20 mil range XP. Kind of sad you don't get any uh, task points for that, but... Yeah, that's insane, dude. Oh my god. I might have like 100 mil range XP by the end of this league. Like, no joke. Alright, unfortunately, I didn't get any Teak Logs from Zora today. So I'm gonna AFK some Teaks tonight and get enough to train to getting the Obliettes. I can't risk Mahogany's. So I think they're a little too expensive, even though I do have HTML, but I got plans, guys, to use the money wisely. So we're not going to blow it all away on Mahogany's, you know? Teak should be insanely fast anyways. So there's a super nice spot for Teaks and Mahogany's too. And there's a guy here, Sawmill. And using Relic of Crystal Memory, easy bank, back and forth. So after we, uh, of course, convert the Teak Logs into Planks, Hell yeah, it should be uh, really easy to get the sense of it. Alright, I'm about to test something for science here. I wonder if they uh, patched a Gal Trooper thingy. Where if someone else finds it, you can still grab it. Let's find out. Apparently if the guy logs off, I, sh I still should be able to grab it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if he logs out. Alright, let's see if this works. Because <gasps> it does. Oh my god. Yo, it works. Holy shit, shout out to Mr. Benjamin over here. Oh, there's one right there. Holy shit. Let's go, let's go. Damn, it took a while to find this. Ooh, Dark Tibs, my dudes. Let's go. Oh, check this out, boys. This is fat. Oh my god, 159,000 experience. And of course, a task done. Mm -mm -mm. That is what is going on. Ah, nice. Wish I could do that again. Whoa, 200 myth bars. Holy crap. That is. That's fat XP, dude. That's a lot of XP. Nope. Unfortunately, no Dragonstone. Ooh, nice. At this rate, so Kano should be able to upkeep my. Uh, my charges because I already got 62 in like an hour and and a half and uh, I'll probably do some more anyways for some task points later oh finally dude our first drop I, I was beginning to think that the Tarzars in the Amoral Wreck area didn't drop anything holy crap okay there we go we're gonna get some points for that Yay! Nice, dude. 100 points. So I think I'm gonna work on other Slayer tasks for AFK means just because I definitely have the money to just buy all the obby items anyways for the task. And I could spend uh, more time gathering Slayer points to buy Slayer stuff like Bigger and Batter, Rune Pouch, and all those things. So I think it's better to just AFK Spider tasks. And yeah, just rush points. Oh shit! Nice, 100 combat. Haha, <laughs> jeez, that's crazy, man. I was like straight up range focused so hard that yeah, my combat was still pretty low. But yeah, 100 combat, nice. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh, points gathering, crazy. Literally, last recall, back to spiders every single task. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be 
enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.